Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is SFH and this is another player review on my channel and it's going to be a very special card. It's a League SBC card um, and Andre Pierre Gignac. 76 pace, 89 shooting, 80 dribbling, 78 passing, 87 physical, medium medium work rates, uh, 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, 6 foot 2. In 10 games in foot champs, he got 13 goals and 2 assists, which is really good considering I played him up on his own. Uh, his specialties are poacher, aerial threat, distant shooter, strength, clinical finisher, and complete forward. And his traits are finesse shot and also power header. Uh, he only has 74 jumping, so um, the power header is kind of surprising. But he has 96 heading accuracy, which is crazy. 94 strength. Um, which is fantastic. Now, I did play him um, as a lone striker in the 4-2-3-1, um, which is probably one of my favourite formations. Um, and in that striker role, you need the striker to be able to push past his opponents with pace. You need him to be able to link up the play, so he has to have good passing and relat relatively good dribbling. Um, he also needs to be a very clinical finisher, and he has to have good strength to be able to hold up the play um, and then obviously bring other people into um, into action. Now you're seeing a couple of the clips now. The one thing that did surprise me about Gignac is his runs. Um, now I didn't expect him because obviously he has medium medium work rates and he, his pace isn't fantastic. I kind of expected him to to be like another number ten and then wait for everyone to kind of overlap, especially the two wingers in Usman Dembele and Anthony Martial. Unfortunately, he couldn't finish that one off there. But the run. It, it did surprise me. Um, he did it more often than not, but in a couple of clips, just like this one, he does drop into that number 10 pocket, uh, which you do need him to do to obviously link up the play um, and then bring everyone else into action. But again, he does make fantastic runs. Another example here, going on the outside, he did do that uh, a fair bit, even though his instructions were to stay central and to get in behind. Um, he did, if we were on the right-hand side, he did tend to run on the right. If we were on the left, he tended to run around the left, uh, which was pretty good. It gave me some more options, but as you're seeing, uh, this actually leads to a goal. So him dropping off the defender, um, unfortunately, Glick makes a fantastic block, um, but it falls out to Asensio. But uh, Giniak pulls off the defender and uh, obviously links up everything in there. Now, the second topic is actually hold-up play. I did go into it a little bit um, in the positioning. But more specifically, the hold-up play, he needs to be able to pass um, because obviously being up there on his own, there are going to be overlaps if it's the full-back, the left-back, the right-back, uh, if it's going to be the, the central attacking midfielder, which happened quite often, or if it's going to be the left mid or left attacking uh, midfielder or the right attacking midfielder. Um, and he did, again, surprisingly, surprisingly well, considering his passing is only, what, 78 or 79, something like that, um, and he didn't have a chemistry boost on it, but everything was fantastic, everything was fine. Um, again, very, very surprising. But the big part of the hold-up play, I mean, look at that. He puts people to the floor with his strength, 94, crazy good strength, um, and he did it a lot as well. Obviously, there aren't um, as many clips as of the hold-up play, because in foot champs, unfortunately, and squad battles, uh, I just wanted to get goals, um, and I didn't really, I didn't need to hold up the play because I wasn't facing people that were much better than me, um, especially in squad battles, obviously with the AI. But as you're seeing in the clips, he does everything you need a big man to do. Uh, he does play very well with another uh, another striker, as you see him get absolutely destroyed in that tackle. He does play well with another striker um, alongside him as well, obviously acting as that big man. Now moving on to the last subject, and it is finishing. Um, with his left foot, he's deadly. Um, and with his right foot, it's it's assured. It's an assured goal, pretty much. Um, unfortunately, there, the keeper makes a, a fantastic save, going through the legs of the defender as well. Um, the thing which... I wouldn't say surprise me, considering his uh, finishing is so high, um, is how clinical he is. Um, as you're seeing a few clips here, he's taken some, some shots from outside the box. Um, his long shooting, in terms of power, is okay, but when it's, when it's a finesse shot from outside the box, obviously he has the trait finesse shot, uh, which is perfect. 
um, and from outside the box he is deadly um, with the with his right foot as you're gonna see in this clip here he bundles through everyone and that's not a strike you typically see from every striker um, very very precise in the corner again a fantastic run gets through and the power on the finesse shot again is it's very very close to the corner he really really impressed me with um with his finishing a left foot and right foot you're gonna see here left foot yes it was slightly close to the keeper but it still goes in and with a three star weak foot you're not expecting them to be in the corner every single time all you really want is for them to uh to try and get it as close to the corner as possible but with his right foot inside the box um i don't think i've played with a a player i, I would say striker but I've, i haven't played with a player that is this clinical for me um and for for a card that doesn't really cost you too much if you do it right it didn't cost me a lot uh, because obviously the rewards i got back and uh, what i finished that is top corner from the rewards i got back from the SBCs and also the 20,000 coins at the end of it, um, it helped out a lot. I think I, I I'm not too sure, but it, it wasn't like a hundred thousand coins, that's for sure. Um, I, I didn't pay for him, but again, I mean, look look how much power is on that shot. And most keepers, including Neuer, including De Gea, including the the really really good goalkeepers, they don't really stand much of a chance. On the half volley, top corners again. It's just the power he puts it in, and obviously the precision. Um, and here, going on to the last goal, rolls his defender, which you can expect a lot. And if you go onto his right foot, a cross body, no keeper is saving it. A fantastic, fantastic striker. Really, really worth it for me. Now we're going on to the pros. Um, his acceleration with the Hunter chemistry style. I'm not too sure um, as to what it actually goes up to but it's high 80s if not 90s um, and that allows him because he doesn't have the greatest of sprint speeds at, uh, with the hunter i think it's low 80s but uh, with the acceleration it allows him to just burst past those defenders um, before they can catch up get his shot off really quick as you saw in the clips um, which is fantastic uh, another one is composure really really high at 87 uh, so if he's you know if a defender is right next to him and he's in in the box it doesn't really affect him. He will put it in the bottom corner uh, or wherever you aim it with his right foot. Left foot mm, could be a bit different. I did see him struggle a little bit on his left foot if the defender was there. But uh, he's still very clinical. And the next point is clinical finisher. As I said in the clips, I don't think I've used a striker or a pl any player that has been this clinical. Um, obviously, I haven't played with the top players like the, the what is it, 96 Ronaldo, uh, the Pele, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi yet. Um, but... As far as a relatively cheap 86 SBC card goes, a fantastic, fantastic finisher. Uh, also, strength being absolutely ridiculous at 94. He can hold off pretty much anyone. Um, and he did so in the weekend league and also in squad battles. A fantastic um, use of that. Obviously, being with a one striker. And the last pro is he can do it all. Especially if he's up on his own. You kind of need him to do everything. He has high strength, so he can hold the ball up. He has good passing, a short passing and long passing. Um, he can create his own chance, and he can finish like nobody's business, uh, which is awesome. It's exactly what you need him to do. Now, the cons. Ball control. It's not fantastic, and you can hit the ball sometimes. Not all the time. Gets away from him, um, which is a bit of a shame, unfortunately. Um, but apart from that, ball control is only an 80. Uh, so if you did add another chemistry style, probably an engine, if I were to add another one, would be probably one of the best. Uh, but another con is three-star skill moves. If he had the four-star skill moves, I think everyone would do this card. Um, just because of how high his shooting is and kind of the, the way he plays. With the four-star skill moves, with a scoop turn, then the Berber spin, and those types of things he would just be on a completely different level because if you look at Benzema very very similar players um, I think they're the same rating as well but Benzema ha actually has four star skills um, which kind of offers a little bit more um, in terms of what he can do and then uh, the last con is actually the three star weak foot although it is on the cons list I didn't feel it hindered him too much when he was on his left hand side he finished more often than not um, there were no kind of like massive wide shots uh, with his left foot um, 
So if you did have the four star or even the five star weak foot, I'm probably going to go and say he's one of the best strikers in the game. Um, but there you go, guys. That is the final summary of Jinyak. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like and also comment down below. Um, and also subscribe for some more content. I did get Elite 2 in um, the Weekend League. So I'll be bringing out those rewards very, very soon. Uh, but as always, guys, I'll see you next time.